All right, everybody, welcome back once again. Uh, now, let's go through the actual box contents that you get with the cabinet works for the ALF 700 series, okay? Let's see what, what all 10 packs in here for you. Of course, I already showed the, the rear fender flares. He gives you uh, pieces of styrene for trimming or whatever. This is uh, called out in, in, in detail in the instructions, which uh, I, I he sent me a PDF copy of them. I don't have them with me at this time. I emailed them to my wife so she can print them out in hard form for me at work tonight. But let's just go through here and see what all you get and trust me you get your money's worth so here we go booster reel ends and core he really does take all the guesswork out of one of these kits pump panel surrounds look at all that and these are just peel and stick man that's that is so, so cool. Here we have the fuel fill pipe and gas cap. These little parts like this. Hobby Lobby, man. Jewelry section. Cabinet railing kit. You get the pump panel pipes and caps. Saves me from having to make a bunch of them. Tail light lenses. And the little frames for them there. Those are little bitty, little bitty, I don't know what they are, little bitty clear pieces for the tail light. We have uh, gauge decals for the pump panel. Very similar to the ones I used when I built the Pioneer Pumper. And what I did with those is I, I cut them out. I didn't really cut them out. I used my hole punch, punched them out. Then if they if they needed trim, trimming, then I trimmed them. But then you uh, you just glue them in place. You don't you don't actually. Use them as, as water slide decals. What do we have here? Rear grab bar and support struts. Hard suction hose caps. Classic four inch tall ball type truck cab grab bar sets. So these will go on the side of the cab. Spring-loaded draft hose handle clamps. Ten of them. That's for your hard suction hoses on the side. We have a hose bed that's probably got wood green pattern in it maybe I don't, I don't really see it but a lot of times these were made out of wood pump panel, pump panel control assortment gauges and things like that little little odd pins again the the dressmaker pins cabinet extensions Fender step assortment. 
These go on the front and rear on the top of the fender. What I do with those right here, those will get mounted right up here. You have, uh, I won't speculate right now what that is, but a couple little parts there. We have some more styrene uh, rod, looks like maybe uh, 47 thousandths. And then here is some of the good stuff. Again, here's that tread plate part. Here are the, the steps and the running boards that go from the, the uh, crew area in the cab back alongside of the body. Looks like the uh, inner part of the, of the wheel well. Here's the other one. And then here is the body. Another piece of styrene. We have a piece of, uh, looks like some very flexible solder. Another, I don't know if that's just a support post from the 3D printing, but here is all the parts to make the body. Some of these he has uh, appreciated, so they're easier to see. You just simply score on the line and you snap it right out just like you would any other piece of styrene. And then of course, the side that's labeled goes to the inside of the, of the bodywork. These of course are, you can see the outline, that's the back, the whole body side. Here's your wheel well. Here's some more parts. Pretty, pretty neat. I think that's uh, probably 40 thousandths. Let's see. 60. 60,000 styrene. So I have a plenty good supply of that if I screw anything up. But there is a, a more in-depth look at the components you get with the body kit for the 700 series American LaFrance. So I hope, I hope you guys go out and put an order in for one of these because this is a, uh, I don't know if I should say a highly sought after model kit, but it's one that's never been produced in kit form. So it will be a great addition to any model builder's uh, stash and to any model builder's display cabinet when you get her done. So I'm really stoked about getting this guy together, start cutting parts. We got to wrap up a couple quick things on the table. The, uh, the 46 uh, power wagon might have to go to the back burner for a little bit but I made progress on the Joe hand today I did get it painted so it's painted up I'll let it set for a few days before we do any uh, <clears throat> polishing or, or foil work to it but yeah we're getting into the meat and bones of the modeling season for sure around here so with that being said uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the uh, the in-depth look at this uh, kit from Tim. And then I believe I will pull out the, uh, the mini pumper kit now. And we'll take a look at that. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.